My name is Hannah, and this is my year of less stuff. Hey, (laughs) y'all. As you could probably tell by how sexy I sound, I'm still sicky. I might even be a little bit sickier than I was when I filmed before, which is too bad. It's been kind of like a slow roll over the course of several days. It hasn't kept me from working, which is an absolute godsend because there is nothing more terrible than a Hannah Louise person who's being kept from working by illness. Like that is something you do not want to be in the same room as. I just rage. I rage when I can't work. So that's good. But it, it's been, I think, one of these things where maybe it would have been better if I'd rested a little bit, but I haven't been able to. It's fine. I'm fine. Everyone's fine. You can see that I'm clearly fine, but you can also hear that I'm clearly sicky and probably will be for another day or two more. So it's good that I decided to give myself a little bit of room with YouTube, although I have missed you guys. It's weird to go from like posting every day and filming all the time and editing constantly through to just twice a week. It's felt like this sporadic thing that I do once in a while this week rather than being like a lifestyle, which is what it has been for months and months. But today's video is so exciting. I feel like it's exciting enough to make up for the fact that I'm only dropping one or two videos a week these days. Mm, Two or three videos a week. Two videos a week. Maybe two or three in coming weeks. Maybe more in weeks after that. This is the video in which I talk about my clothing and accessories inventory. And gosh, Gosh, I mean, the <laughs> it, it surprised me. It surprised me just like the makeup inventory surprised me. And by the way, I need to quickly introduce like a slight amendment or a slight possible amendment to my makeup inventory. And then we'll jump right into the meat of the video and I'll talk about the clothing inventory. I have been reflecting on the fact that I decided to count each individual single shadow as its own item because that just inflated my makeup inventory numbers dramatically. And I had a lot of comments actually being like, "Mm, I don't know. And when I was responding to some of the comments, it occurred to me that my single shadows actually account for almost 40% of the overall number of my makeup in the makeup inventory. If you don't care about this, there will be a timestamp down below just so you know. If you wanna skip straight to the clothing inventory, I'll do that. I just, I need to talk about this. These videos about the inventory are all kind of one big video and and so I'm just, I'm doing it now even though this is the clothing video. Here's what I decided to do. When I realized it was 40%, I was like, wow. That means that the single shadows being counted each as one are kind of giving an overall not quite accurate just general visual impression kind of like the emotional impression of how much stuff i have when it comes to makeup so i decided to reframe it so that i could think of it in a way that was a little bit just more visually accurate and and more like impressionistically accurate so what i did was i i decided to look at my single shadows as if they were broken down into 15 pan palettes. So I asked myself, if these were a group of 15 pan palettes, how many individual palettes would there be? And of course, because of my numbers, it was made very easy because I have 151 single eyeshadows, it breaks down into roughly 10 individual 15 pan eyeshadow palettes. So that meant, if I'm looking at it that way, that I was able to subtract 151 from the the makeup stuff number I had arrived at with my inventory, which was 431. When I subtracted the 151 single shadows, I got down to 280 items. So without my collection of single eyeshadows, my makeup stuff number is 280. Way less. It's 151 less, but it feels like half you know, 280, that's like less than 300. So then I added the 10 to account for roughly 10 more eyeshadow palettes, my single shadow collection broken down into 15 pan palettes, and that got me to 290. So that to me is just more accurate when I'm just thinking about the amount of stuff, the stuff of the stuff, and it helps me conceive of what I'm dealing with better. I'm going to keep track of both numbers as I go through the year. So at the end of the year, I'll count all my individual single shadows again, but I'll also pay attention to how many things I would have, how much makeup stuff I would have, if I were looking at them as being collections of 15 at a time, 15 counting for one when it comes to single shadows. So I thought you guys might be interested in that. I'm not saying it is one or the other. I'm not saying it is 290 or it is 431. I'm just saying I wanted to have both of those numbers at my disposal and I wanted to give both of those numbers to you so that we can be on the same page. But also with that means is that if I want to reduce my stuff number 
by one and I want to do it by decluttering my single shadows, if I'm going with that first number or the second number I came up with, 290, I have to get rid of 15 single shadows to reduce my stuff number by one. So it's just really a way of thinking of my single shadows as groups of palettes. And to be honest, I don't really think of them that way. I think of them as precious jewels. And that's why I counted them each individually. But I do think that 290 is kind of like a more realistic, kind of like a more real number, really. And, and maybe a number that's a little more relatable and more applicable to like makeup collections at large because not everyone is as obsessed with single eyeshadows as I am and not not everyone has as many as I do. So the gag and the reason that I wanted to introduce that idea right at the beginning of this video, the gag is that I ended up having more stuff in the clothing and accessories inventory than I have makeup if you go by that second way of counting. So if I'm looking at my stuff number for makeup as being 290, then my my inventory for accessories and clothes outstripped it. And that shocked me. I When I counted up my makeup, it didn't outstrip the larger number. So I have, spoiler alert, I have less than 431 items in my clothing inventory, but more than 290. And I'll reveal the final numbers at the end, as well as the breakdown. <laughs> but overall, it's just been really interesting. After I counted up my makeup, I was like, this must be the biggest category. It absolutely must be. If I had counted 15 single eyeshadows as one palette to begin with, and I had gotten to 290, maybe I wouldn't have been so sure. But overall, it's just continued to be a very interesting process, even though <laughs> I have consumption. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. Okay, so it was a, it was a little bit of hard going inventorying my clothing, and it's for two reasons. One, because I'm sicky, and I just wanted to lie down, but I was doing it anyway. But two, because my clothes aren't organized right now. I'm still a little bit only half unpacked from having come home for the holidays. I have some stuff in the laundry. I have some stuff that I wash that's hung out to dry on my clothing rack. If you are going to do this at home and you have more time than I do and more wherewithal, what I actually recommend is doing kind of like a, like a very like a very thorough clean and put away of everything, put everything back in its place, just sort your closet first and then count everything. I didn't do that because I don't have time for that right now and I needed to go ahead and film this video and I really want to get the show on the road with the inventory because it's only going to be a very short amount of time before my numbers of things start to change and I want to count everything before more things start coming into my life and before I start getting rid of things because let me tell you, inventorying my clothes really made me want to get rid of things and I might actually do that right after this. Like I might, I might start getting rid of some things because I didn't do as thorough a declutter of my clothing as recently as I did with my makeup. So I basically just tore through all of my clothes. I tore through my closet over and over again, category by category, counting each category as I went. And I might have missed, I'm sure that I missed some things. I'm sure that this number is maybe a little bit lower overall than the reality. There might, mm, but where would they be? Maybe not. Maybe I didn't miss anything. If anything, it maybe fluctuates by five. There might be five more things than I was able to count. But that's okay with me because if I have a lower stuff number than the reality, then all that means is that I'm going to be trying to have fewer things even than I actually thought I had now at the end of the year. I'm an abandoned. We're abandoning ship with that sentence. We're abandoning ship. Moving on to <laughs> the next concept. So surprises, right out the gate. I started with short sleeved tops. And in this category, I counted t-shirts, tank tops, and blouses with short sleeves. I just counted everything that is short sleeved that is a top. And I only had 15. And I would have thought that there were way more than that. I know that I'm someone who doesn't have very many t-shirts. Like I, it's actually something I wish I had a couple of more of, especially in the summers. I'm always talking about how I moved to Los Angeles totally unequipped for the very hot weather almost year round. And that continues to be true. Many of my short sleeve tops are actually slightly formal blouses, things that I can't just throw on and wear to work. I think that when it comes to short sleeve tops that are kind of like in that casual but cool enough realm for me to really, yeah, like to wear to work, to wear to film, to wear on the everyday basis, just to be comfortable in. There were like six of them, like six, five or six little t-shirts and like a cute tank top and that was it. So that really showed me something. It's not, I'm not wrong that when it comes to that realm, the casual short sleeved things, 
I'm not saying I desperately need more. It's just a much smaller area of my closet than other things. That was really interesting. I'm confessing this now on camera and being really articulate about it so that I can remind myself and you guys can remind me down the line when I'm like trying to buy a bunch more sweaters and long sleeve shirts that that's not actually what I need if I need anything. Speaking of long sleeve shirts, so I counted my long sleeved tops, including once again, t-shirt type things, turtlenecks, blouses, anything that wasn't a sweater but that had long sleeves. And I also included body suits. I have like five or six long sleeved body suits of various kinds. And I have 29 long sleeved tops altogether that aren't sweaters. 29, that's almost 30, that's enough. It's partly because I recently really inflated that area of my collection by buying, I think, four tops that fit this description at the very end of last year with the very last shreds of my budget. I also received a turtleneck for Christmas as one of the gifts that my parents gave me. My parents gave me two gifts. They're both gonna be referenced here because they're both clothing items. One of them was a black long sleeve turtleneck with a little dinosaur decal on it. I'll wear it on camera sometimes, it is really cute. So that went into this count, 29 altogether. That is something I do not need one more of. Hannah, you do not need one more of long sleeved tops. Let's talk about sweaters. They aren't actually next on the list, but I did things out of order, but I feel like it's time. 31 sweaters. And I also counted sweater dresses in this count. So I put sweater dresses in this um, category instead of in the dresses category. It makes more sense to me because I feel like dresses, I actually don't have that many, especially day dresses. Many of my dresses are more formal and exciting dresses. I feel like I'm not that good at wearing dresses as everyday clothing and I'm not that good at remembering to keep an eye out for everyday dresses. That was something that I learned when I counted. And I love wearing dresses. I've just kind of moved away from it. So sweater dresses are really easy for me to wear. I love wearing them. I'm constantly throwing them on. And I do have a number of them, but I can't wear them year round in Los Angeles, most of them. So they to me are sweaters because the thing about this category of sweaters in which there are 31 garments is that it's just not that practical an area of my collection to be bloated given the fact that I live in LA. And look, I love I love a sweater. Like I love a sweater. I'm happy <laughs> with all of my sweaters. I understand why I have a collection of 31 sweaters and sweater dresses and I don't particularly want to get rid of any of them. It's not like this number shocks me and makes me want to get rid of them, but it is really really going to make me check myself before I buy another sweater ever again this year because it's one of the biggest categories here. And again, I live in a place where you can't wear sweaters a lot of the time. We're having a really hot January. I can't even wear my sweaters right now. There was like a week window where I could wear my sweaters. Pants surprised me a little bit. I counted pants and leggings together. Leggings, fashion leggings. I counted my workout leggings in the workout clothing section because I counted all of my workout clothes as one. So when I say fashion leggings, I mean legging style pants or leggings that I wear as pants that I don't wear to work out. And they added up to 26. And I've talked about this time and time again, but I'm a person who always feels like she doesn't have any pants to wear. Like I, I look at my clothes and I wanna wear a top and I'm like, I have no pants that are comfortable that look good on me that I wanna wear with this. And so I always end up buying more pants. I keep buying pants just on a whim. I bought a lot of pants with my budget last year. You guys saw me do that. I've just, I've talked about how it's like a body issue thing. It's just pants are a hard thing for me. And so I have a lot of them because I buy a lot of them and I tend to retain them because I feel anxiety about them. And then I feel like I don't have very many pairs of pants that I really, really love. So this actually, this number 26 in the pants did make me want to lose pants from my collection because I don't feel like a person who has 26 pairs of pants and leggings. I do feel like a person who has 31 sweaters and I'm kind of fine with that right now, but I don't feel like a person who has 26 pairs of pants and that makes me feel like there are pants that I have that I don't really feel like I have, meaning that I, I don't consider them options, meaning I shouldn't be keeping them. I counted all of my workout clothes together, including sports bras, shorts, leggings, workout, like I have a workout jacket, like one that I wear to and from the gym. I also have a couple of t-shirts that I only wear to work out. So I added all of that together into one pile because to me it's like one category. I had only 17 items in that category. So that kind of breaks down to like maybe three or four outfits depending. 
I think I only have two sports bras still. No, three, but one of them, yeah, I have three sports bras. One of them's pretty much like kaput. So that's something that I know that I need more of. And workout clothes, I mean, 17 garments in that drawer feels like enough. Like that's quite enough. But it's also a drawer that I might want to keep an eye on. I might want to replace some things as they wear out, like my sports bras. It didn't feel like too much to me and it didn't feel like shockingly little. It kind of felt like the right amount. That's the amount of workout clothes that I feel like I have. Okay, moving on to dresses. I have a total of 17 dresses. That's all of the kinds of dresses that I have. Some formal, one's a jumpsuit, like a really formal jumpsuit. And some of them are really special occasion. Some of them are a little bit more casual in nature, but they're very special in terms of how fashion they are, how designed they are. So I only wear them on occasions that are special for me. I just don't really have kind of like relaxed everyday easy dresses or dresses that fit with my everyday wardrobe. And that's something that I kind of wish I did have, that I, I kind of wish that I wore more of or that I incorporated more of. So that made me think. I, I knew that I had less than 20 dresses. I kind of remembered it from when I did like my really intense wardrobe cleanouts over the past couple of years. But it's just something I've been thinking about, thinking a little bit about. So 17 dresses, but I would say probably 10 of them are ones that are for specific occasions that are like really for dressing up or for like looking some kind of way, maybe even more. There may just be like five or six that I could kind of just throw on. And then I think even if I threw them on just for work, I would feel like I was, I was sprucing myself up a, a bit more than usual. So I don't know if that's about the dresses or if that's about me or what, but it gave me some food for thought. I only have two skirts. One of them is a skirt that I made myself, but it's pretty dramatic, pretty fashion forward. It's the one with those layers of silk. And then one is sort of like a professional pencil skirt that's just so well designed that I keep it because I know that I'm going to want to use it one day. And it, I never wear them. I just don't. I only have two daytime skirts in my wardrobe and it's those two. I do like them both. I would love to start wearing the one I made myself a little bit more. But yeah, skirts are just really out for me right now. It's interesting. So tango clothes. I counted the same way that I counted workout clothes. I have one drawer and all of my tango clothes, the clothes that I ever wear specifically for tango are in that drawer. Sometimes when I dance or teach tango, I wear workout clothes. Sometimes I wear sort of like athleisure clothes, sweatpants and stuff. I didn't count those as workout clothes. I just counted them as pants. My tango clothes are really like, you know, like a sequined dress, like a stretchy sequined bodycon dress, like that I really, I, I only wear it for tango, it's specifically a tango dress. So I have 13 items of tango clothing in my tango clothes drawer. Some of them are dresses, but I didn't count them among my dresses because again, to me, they're not dresses, <laughs> they're, they're tango wear. I, it's like a sport in a weird way, it's like a cross between, a, well, a sport is a hobby, but, but you know what I'm saying, it's just, it's a little bit different. They're not exactly costumes, it's just that my day dresses and my formal dresses and my tango dresses are all separate, so I counted them separately. 13 items of tango clothing, that's way, 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 way fewer than I used to have. I used to be swimming in tango clothing, especially in my 20s when I was dancing almost every night. Tango clothes completely took over my life, so it's pretty it's pretty bizarre actually to me to see that the number of tango clothes that I have has shrunk down to 13 and they all fit in one drawer, but it's definitely appropriate for my current relationship with tango, which is just that I'm not able to dance as much as I used to because of where I live and how much sleep I want to get. And I do hope that I'll move back into a situation where I can dance more tango someday. But for now, 13 is, I think, the right, that's the right number. Okay, now we're getting into some more interesting <laughs> and shocking <laughs> and shocking bits. My underwear is everywhere. That was the hardest thing to count because I counted it up when I got to this point on the list and I counted 24 pairs of underwear by going through like my, my dirty laundry, my suitcase that's half unpacked and my drawer where I keep my underwear. And then as I continued to count, I kept finding pairs of underwear like in other places where they shouldn't have been. And by the end of the thing, I had crossed out 24 and written 25, and then I'd crossed out 25 and written 20, 27, and then I'd crossed out 27 and written 28. And I think that that was it. But 28, if you had asked me, I would have been like maybe, <laughs> I would have been like maybe 14, like maybe 14 pairs of underwear. I really do not have a handle on how much underwear I have and it's way too much. That's the other thing. A lot of it's like completely bagged out and yucky and like needs to be gotten rid of. Even though I did get rid of what I felt like was my oldest and yuckiest underwear in my most recent 
closet declutter. It's almost like another group of them have gone beyond the pale since then. And I was digging through and there was some that I was like, yeah, this has got to go. So the interesting thing is that I've been thinking that I might need to replace some of my underwear. And now that I've counted, I know that that's not the case. What I, what I need to do is I need to get rid of it and consolidate it and keep it all in one place and understand how much I actually have. Because I could get rid of half of it and still always have a pair of clean underwear and still always have like the right kind of underwear that I want to wear on any given occasion. That's given like how frequently I personally do laundry. So I just need to declutter my underwear and I don't need to buy myself more. And I learned that by counting it. I think if I hadn't actually physically counted it, I wouldn't have known that. And I might have gone and bought myself some more. Bras, I have 15 bras and again, many of them, more than half of them probably, I might even say most of them, have stopped providing the support that they used to provide. I tend to go for just really light bralettes with elastic. Like I don't really have any heavy duty bras, underwire bras, padded bras. I don't have anything like that. It's all just like, you know, like a little tight shirt. <laughs> like that's all, it, that's all it is. They're not these like pieces of construction. And what that means is that they just have a shelf life. And a lot of these bras were ones that I bought right before the start of my no buy year because I knew that that was something I was going to want to refresh and I wouldn't have allowed myself to refresh them during my no buy year. That was like a total no-no. I couldn't have replaced bras during my no buy year. My replacements rule was just for like replacing shampoo and stuff like that. So I bought maybe five or six bras right at the beginning of my no buy year and those have been my, or right before the beginning at the very end of 2017. And those have been my go-tos. And I realized at this moment that I've been wearing them for two years and that's pretty much their shelf life. The elastic is all stretched out and sagged out. The straps can't be tightened any tighter. And I think that one of my first acts this year is going to be just purging maybe all of my bras, even the ones that I love because they're really not working anymore and replacing them all. So hopefully this, this month will bring that joyous act. And I would like to end up with fewer than 15. I would like to get rid of maybe more than half of those 15 and then buy fewer than the number that I got rid of. So I'll already be on my way to fewer nicer things in the bras department and all around. I counted my kind of like cute fun time lingerie, like the kinds of garments that I sometimes put on just to feel myself. And I have seven of those. So it's like a couple of negligees. And I do have like one cute underwire bra set type of thing. You guys don't need to know about that, but, but it's stuff. It's some of my stuff and there's seven of it. I have 13 pairs of socks. Most of them are workout socks. And I think just two pairs are like warm weather, not warm weather, but like warm boot socks, like cold weather socks, socks you'd wear under boots. So I really, I don't have very many socks. They're all just for working out pretty much, but I retain those two pairs just in case. Like when I went home to North Carolina for the holidays, I packed both of those two pairs because I knew that it was going to be cold and it might snow, et cetera, et cetera. My coats and jackets, number seven. I have one raincoat, I have one kind of big formal overcoat for special occasions, and then the rest of them are just kind of like little jackety things, including my plaid coat that I'm always wearing. That's a pretty edited collection for me because I'm also including like my Isabel Morant soft wool blazer and my like, I have like a long uh, jersey knit blazer from COS. It's, it's kind of like a cardigan, but I consider it a piece of outerwear. So all of those are being counted in the seven of coats and jackets. I have three robes and I want more all the time. Robes, I feel like I just can't get enough. I have one long fleece robe. I have one thin cotton kimono robe and then I have one like short terry cloth robe. I sleep in my robes a lot. I just, I live in my robes and I, I'm resisting getting another robe because three, three seems like too many. And I have four items of sleepwear. So I have uh, like a, a vintage nightshirt and shorts. I think it's like a men's nightshirt and shorts that I got at a flea market somewhere. It's just a piece of vintage, it's two pieces of vintage sleepwear <laughs> and then I wear them a lot. They're striped. And then I have two oversized nightshirts. They're like old t-shirts of Joe's that I sometimes sleep in. So those are my only four like pajama type items and then I have my robes. So then in the garments, I separated like my garments count from my accessories count and then I added them together. I decided to count scarves, hats, and gloves as garments too. Even though they technically are called accessories, I consider them to be like garments as opposed to shoes and jewelry, which are to me like accessories. 
I don't know where the logic is there, but I counted them. And I only have five scarves, one of which was a Christmas gift. So that's of note because it entered my collection recently. You guys won't have seen it, but I'll, I'll be wearing it or showing it sometime soon. It's actually super beautiful. It's an a gray and brown alpaca scarf that my cousin brought to me from Ecuador because she was studying abroad in Ecuador. So it's truly, truly beautiful and very much to my taste. I'm really, really excited about having it. And then I have only two hats, one, um, beanie like a, a cashmere beanie and one baseball cap for sun and I have one pair of gloves so those are all of my garments and goodness gracious my friends they add up to 234 garments that's I think more like even if I just look at the numbers I'm like 15 long sleeve tops 17 dresses two skirts I'm like it's probably 150 things but then it's 234 things. So I think I can do with less. I can definitely take hits in the underwear department, in the bra department, in the pants department, maybe the long sleeve tops department. Uh, I don't want to get rid of any of my sweaters, but like everything else, the numbers are small for everything else. Socks, tango clothes. Compared to how I used to live, compared to what my life used to be like, I don't feel like they're taking up too much space. I don't feel like I'm drowning in my clothes. I don't feel like I have more than I can keep in my clothing mind palace, but I definitely have more than I need and more than I want to have, judging by the numbers and judging by the experience I had when I was physically counting them. When I was going through counting, I was like, oh yeah, I don't need so much of this category when I was actually physically combing through. There were things that I, I immediately felt like I could offload in the context of counting everything up. It was interesting. So then I moved on to the labor intensive project of counting all of my accessories. The shoes, I have 21 pairs of shoes. That's including my one pair of slippers. And that is also including, oh, two things of note, a pair of sneakers that my parents gave me for Christmas. That was the other gift that they gave me together. They're just, they're, they're like sports sneakers, like you could run in them, but they, I'm using them for streetwear, for everyday wear. They've shown up a couple of times on my Instagram. Maybe I'll put a picture in, but if not, you'll see them. I just don't feel like going and getting them right now because you guys. <laughs> And a pair of boots that my grandmother gave me for Christmas or that she she funded the purchase of as her gift to me. So two new pairs of shoes have entered my collection since the last time I talked about my shoes on camera or showed them on camera. So I counted my Tango shoes separately. They are, to me, tools, tools for work in a way. I have nine pairs of Tango shoes right now that are the ones that I dance in, that I like use for dancing and teaching. I have some separate pairs of tango shoes with higher heels that I use for modeling when I'm modeling the clothes for our website, the clothes that I make and sell, but those are no longer in rotation for me as dance shoes, so I consider those to be shoes that kind of belong to the business for the purpose of modeling. My dance shoes, the ones that I own and that I wear and that I practice in, are all here in the house and there are nine of them. I counted my bags. So this is, there are some things of note in the bags category as well. I had, I think seven, eight, no, six or seven bags. Is that right? At the, when I did my bag declutter and I, and I showed you guys the whole thing when I like decluttered my handbags and all that stuff. And, and some of them that I didn't show in that got counted in the count. So I have a gym bag and I have like an overnight bag, like a leather overnight bag. And so I counted those when I counted. And I also have gained two bags since I did that declutter. One of them I brought right here to show you because, oh my God, can you, this is what Ellie gave me for Christmas. It's this little dance lente purse that I have been coveting. I have had my eye on this brand for a long time. I'm not gonna go on at length in this video, but I just wanted to show it to you because I'm, I'm mentioning that the number of my handbags has grown since we last discussed it, you and I, and it has grown by one because of this bag. And also Teddy Blake sent me another bag. I didn't really realize they were going to. I had mentioned it to my rep in an email back when we were originally discussing like the bags I was interested in, but then they had sent that bucket bag that I love so much. So I kind of thought that, that was gonna be it. Maybe I should show you the other one. Here it is. It's absolutely stunning. It's the Alice tote in black with the red suede lining. And when I was originally chatting with the rep, I was like, you know, I really love that oversized coral bucket bag. That's the one that I've been like carrying nonstop and just like raving about. And it's like one of my favorite things I got in PR last year by far. It's like an amazing, amazing bag for me. And then I was like, but you know, 
I've always wanted just a really, really beautiful black leather tote. So I can't really decide which one would be better for me. And she was like, well, let's send you the coral bucket bag because this one was out of stock. And I was like, okay, great decision made. That makes it easy. And then I got that one and I was like happy as a clam. And then this one showed up while I was away for the holidays. So it's, it's great because it's a little small, like to my surprise, I was thinking this would be like the more practical one. That bucket bag is like cavernous, but this, it is, it still fits my laptop and everything. And it's really easy to put things in and take out, you know, I mean, you can tell it's just like a really, really practical bag. It's also very beautiful. And so these two have added diversity to my handbag collection, not only in terms of like the shapes and sizes, because both of them are just a bit different in a couple of ways from anything else that I have, but also color diversity. They both have black in them, and I didn't have a black bag when I finished decluttering my bags, and I didn't have um, anything that had like any greens in it. You know, all my bags were like red, and then there was that one silver one. So I feel like stuffed to the gills. I feel very satisfied right now with what's going on in my handbag collection in, and in the handbag department in general. And the overall count now, I believe, is 10. Then I got into the jewelry, and this was... <laughs> This is weird. I, I've never been like an over collector of jewelry. I've always had a pretty modest jewelry collection. It's PR that did it to me. It was working with Ana Luisa a couple of times. They sent me a, bun a bunch of jewelry and I love the earrings that they sent me. So it, I, I got rid of some of them. I like gave some of them away as gifts because they make such beautiful gifts. But I also remember that last year I was so obsessed with Ana Luisa at that time, at the beginning of the year, that I asked for some Ana Luisa earrings for my birthday. And I love the ones that I got for my birthday too. So I. I gained like probably 10 pairs of Ana Luisa earrings over the course of last year because of those birthday gifts and because of PR. And I gave a couple of the PR pairs away, but most of them I'm just keeping and using because I really love them. But when I counted on my earrings, I, I, I'm estimating because everything's jumbled and I just didn't have the wherewithal to sort it out. I have about 32 pairs of earrings. I also have some single earrings, like these single hoops that are in my ears now. And so some of them I counted as pairs and some of them I counted as singles because I'm not exactly wearing like matched pairs in all my ear holes right now. So that's part of why it's a little bit of an about number, like roughly 32, because I don't know, you know, if everything that should be counted as pairs or counted as pairs and everything that should be counted as singles or counted as singles. But I don't need even 30 pairs or individual earrings. Like I'm not going to wear that many. Those are earrings are things that make really nice gifts. I'm, I'm on a mission to give away several of my pairs of earrings during the first couple of months of this year because I would like to have a more edited collection than that. I didn't realize I had gotten that out of hand. I also have about 10 rings and I wear about three of them. So that's another group that I can give some away from. Other jewelry like my watch, some brooches that are floating around, some necklaces, other jewelry added up to 12. And then here's the kicker for me, the kicker of this entire investigation. The biggest category of everything in the clothing accessories department is the next one that I counted, which was perfume. I keep my perfume on top of the little chest of drawer type thingy that my some of my clothes are in, and my jewelry is in. So I decided to count perfume as an accessory. My perfume collection looks kind of modest. Like when you look, it doesn't take a lot of space, but there's so many uh, little dinky bits, little like samples and little sample sprays and vials all mixed in that when I count it all up, there are 40 pieces in my perfume collection, 40 items, 40. I'm a person who would like to have four to five full size bottles or, or like hefty travel spray size bottles of my favorite perfumes. I do not want 40 different scents to deal with. I didn't realize I had that many. It's just bananas. So that's another collection that I am just on a mission to shrink. I, can't, I still can't believe, like I'm looking at it over there. I can't believe it counts to 40, but there are, there are 40 individual bottles or vials or samples of perfume sitting on top of my vanity. Mind blowing. That's more than anything else on this list. And then there are just some other random things like like a hair, like a hair donut that I hadn't counted with my beauty stuff and like a hair, like um, those little ears that I used to push my hair back. I didn't count them with my cosmetics. There's like my hair turban, my hair towel thing. That's one of my beauty objects, but I didn't count it with my cosmetics. And those kinds of things are mixed in amongst my clothing and accessories. So I counted up all of those things, those other type things, and they amounted to about 15 things. 
So all of the accessories extra to my garments added up to 149. I can't believe there's this much. I mean, I really, the, the makeup, I, I kind of expected it to be in the 300 to 400 realm, especially given that I was counting my single eyeshadows. I didn't know that I had this many clothes. When I added it all together, the clothing, accessories, shoes, bags, earrings, everything, it came to 383 stuffs, 383 individual items that, that amounts to my stuff number when it comes to the category I'm calling clothing. But we know that it means all of this. And again, as I said at the beginning, that means that if I, if I go with my second way of looking at my makeup, which counts my single shadows into groups, then I've got more stuff, I've got more clothes than I have makeup. And I was over here thinking that I had way more makeup than I had clothes. So counting is helpful. Counting is enlightening. And even though I'm not really friends with numbers, I am friends with facts in this way, right? Like seeing seeing what's there, like actually seeing instead of just seeing what you think is there all the time and moving through your life constantly, seeing what you think you have and seeing what you think is there. So I'm really excited that I'm doing this. I have got to go. I am just like, I'm not in a position to give a long outro, but Here's the one thing that I want to say. Show me your numbers. <laughs> Show me your numbers. I loved hearing y'all's makeup numbers in the other video. And here's what I'll say. If you want to just count your garments, you don't have to be like, I have this many long sleeve shirts. I have this many short sleeve shirts. I have this. Like, you don't have to do that. I have done that partly because I'm curious and, and partly because I'm on YouTube. And I like, I, I wanted these videos to be more robust than me just sitting here and being like, I counted all my clothes. There's 383. See you next time. Like, you know, so, but you don't have to do that. You could go through and count just one, two, three, four, five, six through all of your clothes, including like underwear, bras, shirts, pants, and just count the number. You could just count one number. You don't have to like make a list like I did. And so if you do that, just be clear down below if it's your number of garments or if it's your number of clothing and accessories and shoes, everything all together. Or if you decide you want to break it down and you want to share the breakdown with us, that's fine too. I just want to make it as unintimidating as possible for you guys to like share your numbers down below because I was I thought it was curious about how my makeup numbers stacked up against other people's makeup numbers. Then when I saw everyone's numbers, I was like, yeah, well, you know, it's different for me because a lot of my makeup was PR. And I have thought about actually going through and counting all of my makeup that's PR and so we can find out like what percentage of my makeup collection is PR. Maybe I'll do that before the next time I film and I can report back about that in the intro of the next video because that would be really, really interesting for me. So when I saw you guys' you guys's makeup numbers, I was like, oh yeah, well, I mean, most people have less than I do. And I was like, yeah, but they haven't been receiving PR for a year. They haven't been having to deal with all this stuff. It makes sense that I would have more because I'm on YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. But that doesn't apply for clothes. That doesn't fly. I don't have that excuse when it comes to clothes. Pretty much. I mean, there I have maybe received two pairs of shoes in PR, and I've received a couple, maybe five garments in PR, and the jewelry. So it does apply with the jewelry for sure. But my clothing and accessories stuff number has not been inflated by my position on YouTube in the way that my makeup stuff number has. So in a way, I'm more interested in knowing how many clothes and accessories you guys have because I feel like we're a little bit more like on even ground. Like it's a little bit more like relating just person in the world to person in the world without the bizarre interference of social media marketing being in the way like it is for me with makeup. Okay, I have got to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this like weird introduction to the year with me being like all snoggy over here and still getting on here and filming and telling you about how much stuff I'm drowning in. Um, and don't forget, <laughs> To take extra good care of yourself this week so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.